Hello. Hi. So today we're going to show you how to do this makeup right here. It's a very natural one that will just cover some flaws that you may have if you have not sleep well, but will enhance your natural features, which is the things that you have to do just in front of the camera. It's very useful for castings, for Polaroids, or for the test if you have a shooting and you have to be very natural. It's perfect because it's very natural and it's very neutral. Yeah, it's like doing a no makeup makeup. It's like cheating because when sometimes you go to a casting, if you go with lots of makeup, they will take you to rip it off or to take it off. So it's better to, to go really natural. You can wear makeup. They tell you washed face, but if you're wearing something really natural like she's wearing now, you can do it. And now we are going to show you the process of Mark. How to do it. How to do it. Let's go. So first of all, you need to start with a good coat of moisturizer. Apply it, rubbing it onto the skin. And once the skin has soaked it in, you can go up to your foundation. Use a very low coverage foundation and apply it on buffing motions. So you thin your foundation out as much as possible. So the result will be super natural. For concealer, use some concealer that you can apply under your eyes and use it as one on some pimples. If you think it's too thick for your under eye area, mix it a little bit with your moisturizer. And with patting motions on your finger, blend it onto the skin. Once your skin is ready, just powder it with a little bit of pressed powder, leaving the cheekbones without powdering so the natural shine of your skin will show through. Blush-wise, try to use a reddish blush and just on the apples of the cheeks, that is where we naturally blush sometimes. If you have naturally full brows, just brush them up and put it into shape. And if not, just with a little bit of pencil, pencil them in but maintaining the natural look. Onto the shadows, just keep it super natural and matte. Apply a bone color onto the brow bone and on the crease, just apply a little bit of light brown. The mascara for the casting, it's better to apply it just on the roots to give some definition and leaving the ends without any product or as minimum as possible. Finally, on the lips, apply a little bit of gloss or a very natural color, not necessarily matte because it will draw you out. Have in account that this is for a very pale skin, but if you are a little bit darker, just change or darken a little bit the eyeshadows, the blush and the lips. And following those very simple steps, you'll have a perfect skin for going to the casting and a very fun look for an everyday. So we hope you've liked it and enjoyed it. If you have any questions about this video or some requests for future videos, put it down below and see you on the next one. See you in the next video and hope you like it. Bye bye! bye.